Hi Diva, this is your girl Hawaii Nani coming back at you with a real talk video. And this is a real talk video. I did record the video on my HD web camera, but apparently um, my memory is getting low on my computer, so I've got to do a lot of transferring a lot of files to an external hard drive eventually, um, so it's going to take some time. Anyway, I wanted to come to you guys on a real note on certain things about family again, and this time it's about cousins, female cousins, okay? Now, you may, some of you, I'm just going to, I'll edit a disclaimer, there may be some cousins, there may be a few other words, so if you've got young kids around, please remove them from the room or turn the volume down because there will be some tough words in this video. And now, if you're 18 years or older, you need to exit out. Uh, this video is basically um, for adults. Now, on to video. I want to make this clear. I am who I am. I'm a human being. I have feelings too. And I take shit sometimes to think if I have to. But I'm Scorpio. Scorpio, if you're Scorpio, you know what we got. Now, this here is about my first cousin. I'm not going to call her name. I'm not going to spray her name. Now, you guys know that my husband has to walk to work now because my mom stopped taking him to work because of no gas money, which he was giving her every two weeks, every pay period. He's giving gas money. Now, she was using the car for other things too, besides taking my husband to work. She was taking my brother to work, she was taking my brother and other brothers to work, and other places she had to go, and my sisters to band practice or whatever. Now, mind you, again, disclaimer, custom will be associated in this video. I personally have an issue with my cousin. We don't we don't argue for anything. I just don't trust her. My husband was walking to work. He happened she had we're just cool. She happened to see him walk and he gave him a ride home. Or walking away from her or whatever. I don't know. Now <clears throat> and I don't say I don't trust my husband, I just don't trust my cousin. Okay, I know how some women can be. They can be shy, dirty, and flirtatious, and she's that type of girl. She's a Scorpio as well. Now, I'm coming to you guys on a real video. As I said before, I'm going to be cussing, and I'm going to be snapping. So if you do not like anything that I have to say in this video, please exit out because I don't want anybody taking this expensive because I personally am talking about my issue. Nobody else's issue. My issue is with the fact that I don't have a problem like I said. I do not have a problem. If she has me see him off and she gives him a job to work, that's fine. You know, she's my family. Yes, that's cool. But I know she's not. Come on, she's divorced. Okay. And she had three boys. And my thing is, you're my camp folks. I'm glad that you're doing my husband and I a favor. But don't make it a habit. Okay? Because I know what kind of person you are. I mean, you like your friends or whatever. I'm not saying she's a host, but she's not one that I'm, that I'm aware of. But as, as word gets around, I'm not going to go there. That's her personal life. That's her personal business. But don't. They can get comfortable with giving my husband a ride to work. Okay, because I told him, look, uh uh. I'm cool with her giving me a ride to see you walking. That's fine. But don't go to her house, get in her car, and let her take you to work. That's a no. But see, this is my thing. You might consider me to be wrong with my part, but you don't know my family. I know my family. And I know how dirty they can be. I'm making this video to speak out my angle about my situation. As I said before, I know how she kicks. 
okay? Women have no women. Am I right? Okay. So, I told my husband that I said, I don't have a problem with giving you a lot to work. The fact is, you tell me what you do. And it's you know that because, like I said, I know my family. You're just married to me because you are a part of the family. Cousin-in-law, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, whatever. They could be shysty too. There are some shysty motherfuckers out there. They would try to do the big damage to do in your family if they could. If they're not, if they're not happy in their situation, they try whatever to make your situation worse. I'm not saying this would, I'm not saying that at all. But I don't know what's going through her mind when she does get married. I don't know what she's thinking. I don't know what she's perfect per se, but I know that she's a her family, I know my family, I know her mama, I know her uncle, I know how they talk. talk. Now, my thing is, my mom always tells me shit too, but she's just as messy as the rest of them. And I mean messy. Keep shit going. Um, I don't worry about what's going on over there on their end. I care less, I love them. But what they do in their house, outside their house, is their personal life. It's their business. But what goes on in the real family, it's our business, okay? Now, I told my husband, I said, I don't have a problem with her. If she sees you walking, eating a lot to work for her, that's fine. But don't go to her house, knocking on her door, come on, you know. Don't think I want to expect anything from a man. Because I don't give a fuck how she sees it and where she sees it. Don't play me. So my husband, sometimes she will step out of her box to help, yeah. But don't think she may not want me in return. Okay, and I take that very light and I tell him, if you do that without me knowing about it, it's going to be a problem. And I'm not saying that I don't trust him, I don't trust her. And most men I don't trust. And uh, we had a trust issue, we had a trust issue with that. And it started to build back up the trust in him because I gave to God. I'm not saying he did anything in a marriage, but before we got married and stuff like that, we had some problems. And that was the only one time now that was overseas for me. We're going to leave that alone. That's another video. Not letting y'all be. <laughs> but. Got car. Sorry, guys. Anywho, I just wanted to come to you guys real quick on a sour note and a weekend note. I just wanted to talk with you guys if it's okay with y'all. And, you know, I'm not asking for advice, but I'm just telling it like it is. Um, I am going to be doing a relationship video with my husband, hopefully today, because we haven't had a chance to really get a chance to get on here and do a video, because he's been occupied watching television, playing video games. When they click those damn game controls up, ugh! No, this is his day to relax, because, you know, he works on Monday to Friday, and I understand that. But I, I want to I want, I want that time with me and each other, so yeah, he understands that. But what I'm saying, I don't mean to be all over the place because I'm just talking. Right now, I just don't, I told her, I told him that I don't like the fact that she's going to her house and she's giving me a ride. That's just, it, it makes me uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. I mean, some of you agree with me, some of you don't. Fuck it. I'm, I'm just a human being who loves her husband and he loves his wife. I don't think he would like it if that was his cousin and I would go on his cousin's house and get the ride from him. I don't think that would sit right with him. He may not say now and then. He may say it later. Because that's how shit works. Shit happens like that. But I never do it to him. I have respect for my husband. And I told him, you're going to respect me too. I don't give a damn if that was, your, uh, that was my long lost cousin from 1978. I don't care. Dude, really? I know her. I know what she works and how she works. Be careful. Step into a pile of shit and you'll get shitted on. And if she does try to, or has tried to, and will try, and will try to, it's going to I'm nipping that in the bud. That ain't going to happen. But, um, I'm like I said, I'm not knocking her or trying to degrade her. I'm just keeping her under God. I just, I don't trust her. I don't trust her. And, um, and, and she talks too damn much about shit, talk about people behind their back. Which is common with most people. That's how they judge you. They try to be stupid like that. But I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. I will be back with another video. 
I just wanted to keep it real with you guys. I have, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was a skeleton in my closet. That anger, that, that menacing anger just went be pissed off and just go the hell off on shit, you know, to fight, but I'm a good girl, I love my family, and I, I just try to keep it simple with what I have to say, you know, I don't want everybody to know all the details, I just want to know what, you know, what my deals know, because I'm human too, but I, I come from bullshit too, and I understand where all of you come from, I know all of you have probably been through the same situation, so nobody's perfect, okay, so, Again, stay tuned. We more to come. I love you guys. Y'all have a wonderful and safe weekend. Bye.